Hello everyone, welcome to the last lab of the course. This is laboratory number nine. Originally I had planned to have 10 labs this term, but due to the COVID and the hecticness of it, I've decided to drop one of the labs and just have nine. Therefore your grade will be calculated out of nine labs. All right. So um, the subject matter for this lab are the later members of the genus Homo. And really that concerns the arrival of the species erectus, Homo erectus, all the way up through the advent or the emergence of anatomically modern humans. That would be ourselves at just about the 100,000 year point. Therefore, we're looking at a range of time between you know, essentially 2 million years ago up to about 100,000 years ago. So this laboratory is very typical of the last several laboratories that you have. Um, I'll give you the, the questions that I want you to do, um, as well as the exercises that I suggest that you do. Now, to get you going on the lab, there are two visual assignments that I have for reviewing assignments, and they're from professional research conferences on the subject matter. Um, the first one is by Bill Kimball. Uh, Bill Kimball is, is probably one of the top three to five experts in the world on the species Arrhachis homo erectus. So um, I have a short 25-minute lecture, which he put together, uh, called The Origins of the Genus Homo. Um, and he did this at a CARTA conference. This is a professional conference. Um, and he has uh, some really stunning visual stuff that will help you really get an idea of what these things look like within the fossil record. And that should translate very nicely into actually doing the labs. Uh, the second viewing assignment, which we have, is another CARTA conference, and these are the professional conferences for biological anthropologists. And this one deals with um, Neanderthal DNA um, and the DNA which we have in us, the consequences of hybridization, because whether you all know it or not, you have 1% to 3% Neanderthal DNA within you due to sexual contact between archaic Neanderthal populations and anatomically modern populations. We're looking at the phenotypic effect, uh, the genotypic effect, and as well as the medical effects of these hybridizations. And there are three short lectures by three of the world's leading experts on Neanderthals in that particular lecture. All right, then they'll be at the lab at the very bottom of the page. All right. That lab is due on the last day of class, and that last day of class is this Thursday, Thursday the 23rd. Now, there's also the lab, last lab quiz. Now, that quiz I'm going to make available on the 22nd or Wednesday, so you have Wednesday and Thursday to start it, you know, to, to get it completed, so you can choose one day or the other, but as late as Thursday night at midnight. Now, as far as the due date for everything is concerned, um, the very last Think time I can take stuff because I'm going to be calculating your grades. I'm going to be calculating your grades on Saturday the 25th. So I need to have all your material in by Friday the 24th. That concludes that includes all the laboratories as well as the coveted timeline project, that timeline poster, which is worth so many points. You cannot not do that. Okay, it's so very important that you that you get that in. If you haven't started, get back to module one and look at the instructions and get moving on that thing. I want to see. I really want to reward you with some great points. All right. Okay, so um, that about does it for the course so far. Um, but these last couple of days are even more critical uh, than the rest. As far as I mean, the contact between me and you. Um, and I expect you, I really hope you guys will will, will call me, ask me questions uh, so that I can help you get this done as expediently, as quickly as possible, and give you as much guidance to get you the grade that you want to have. All right, so it's been a pleasure. Um, so, um, Again, hit me up with any questions, preferably by phone, only because contacts is, be contacts is better, but by email is also fine too.